JR. Now kids big and small can relive their favorite AEW moments. I was gonna, <clears throat> it's gonna get on the call that and uh, the Judas effect. Dynamite. The crossroads. Super kick. Hard time. The trigger. You got it. This is let's just repeat the uh, moves. Hey everyone, thanks for joining us here for AEW Top 5. I'm Jen Decker, and what a night it was at Fight for the Fallen, where we finally saw AEW champion John Moxley face FTW champion Brian Cage for the AEW It's not recognized World by the company. We're so grateful for not only everyone who tuned in, you did defend it on uh, Dark. It's trending number one. So I guess it's a uh, so recognized title. Moments, but did your favorites make this week's AEW Top 5? Well, let's find out. Kicking us off at number five, for weeks there's been speculation who Nyla Rose's new manager would be. So when it came to what do you mean for weeks? This week she just announced last week that it was because she was going to she had a manager. For themselves. No, she didn't say anything about the what that it was a manager. We just had an announcement. Nyla, last week you had mentioned that you hired a manager. Any word as to who that may be? You really think? Like, you really think after? Rubbing salt in the wound and mentioning that I'm a former champion. That I'm I didn't say that. Oh, that's a mistake. She said that. I, I, I had a feeling she was going to get called out. I'm not telling you anything. As a matter of fact, I'm not telling any of you anything. Because I'm going to let them say it for themselves. What? Let them say it for themselves, and it's Vicky Guerrero comes out. He's only one person. At least she's saying, excuse me. It makes more sense for her to say that than say, are you kidding me? Because nothing was said. Excuse me is how she used to always enter the... Uh, is anybody really surprised? She'll be good for the company. She'll be good for Nyla Rose. Nyla Rose doesn't need a, a mouthpiece, but you can always go on here. Now, Listen. what is your strategy here? Why would I tell you about my strategy? One of the stupidest questions, and it actually here. doesn't make any sense. Why would you ask but that? I will say, Dasha, say what, is, what do you I intend to do here? That's a good question. What, what is your strategy? Tradition. They're not going into a match or anything yet. Perfect time. Now, since it is official that I am the manager of Nyla Rose, I have a special message for the women's locker room. From this moment on, ladies, I am begging you to stop lying to yourselves of how great you are. And also admit that you will never be smart enough to cheat to win. And last but not least, Nyla Rose is going to steal every opportunity you have ever dreamed of. Wow. Who's going to stop Nyla Rose now with Vicky Guerrero on her side? That's a hell of a combination, folks. Just when you thought the native beast couldn't get any scarier, she goes and gets Vicky Guerrero as her manager. Wow. The women's division has been put on notice. Have they? Coming in at number four, since making their debut here at AEW, FTR hasn't exactly been seeing eye to eye with a lot of the tag team division. But when Kenny Omega and Hangman Page beat best friends at Fighter Fest, FTR decided to share a brew with the tag team champs. But Omega was just not having it and totally wasted a perfectly good Yeah, game. because he doesn't course, drink FTR was not in real life. With this gesture. So when Omega showed up, but FTR didn't do their homework. They, they should Max know that. Harwood right? and Cash Wheeler returned the favor. If nothing else, and FTR Slowly but surely, every week, I hate Katie Omega even more. He needs to really step up and be the Kenny Mega Bowl. Because his incarnation here in AEW ain't working. Look how long they, they take. It's a, it's a timing thing with these guys in the AEW. They don't know how to time shit to make it not look so set up. And I'll talk about uh, one of the things that really... <laughs> It's kind of a an issue with a lot of fans that, that you know even the critics that say talk about AEW. Last week, the elite coming out to, to celebrate with FTR for their big victory here tonight. Everybody's trying to get along. It seems like. Looks up a little cooler there. Look at that. And 
Matt Jackson offering the keys back to Dax Harwood. And but at the end, you see that, <laughs> that they couldn't even start the car. Chocolate milk. And probably before he went off air. That's the milk. <laughs> Why is Kenny Omega holding a beer? You know damn well he ain't going to drink it. Some of that no trail, Joe. Yeah. Toast there. Oh, not on his hair. And then, uh, okay. and then look at the Young Bucks. Maybe the Young Bucks, uh, they're not really friends with FTR, so why didn't they jump FTR or something like that? So I can, like, uh, you know, good old boys. Like, you know, stop being tweeners. They don't work for you. Well, nothing works for them anyway. I, I don't, I can't stand them. I think the elite are, are overrated. To be, uh, voices of reason. Man, what a mess. Someone should really clean that up. Making our way to number three. Was that, was that a dramatic a pause? A double or nothing, no, she's getting machine. more annoying. Darby Allen Holy has crap. not been medically cleared for in-ring competition. Honestly, somebody of backstage told her, you gotta be more of a comic. Remember, you're a comic. You're a comedian. Still, the you need to uh, be more funny. Get back to work. So when the lights came up, she's needs she's needs a standard, to standard do her job. Be eye candy. I popped, you popped, yeah. we all popped to see Darby. Especially if you can't, there, you can't do the comedy and, 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 and right? not be it's annoying. Like a man that yeah. put him out of action, and that makes Darby Allen's return your number three moment of the week. That was good. Okay. Maybe that, maybe that, uh, maybe that, uh, the skate park match is gonna take place because. Uh, well, I'm just making that up, but Brian Cage is a skateboarder. He was a skateboarder back in the young days, so they might have a match like that. I mean, how silly uh, their, 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 their big matches are and stuff, right? Uh, I mean, I, I love the stadium stampede, but they might do a match with a skateboard uh, ramp, uh, skateboard park match. I can't believe Darby Allen is back. We've seen huge. We've seen the very uneasy alliance between. John Moxley and Darby Allen in the past. Let's get a shot of that the skateboard. We can. He's got studs all over it. Look at this. It's a right Look at that. Man, that was good <laughs> place. Great aim. Darby oh, Allen man. Man. right for the throat. This machine, Brian Cage. And it was Brian Cage that put Darby Allen on the shelf for over a month after that casino ladder match at Double or Nothing. I'm trying to remember what, what he did. To number two. This week, Move the on. Concrete Rose Sunny Kiss was the latest competitor to answer the American Nightmare's open challenge for the TNT Championship title. This was a fantastic moment for Kiss to not only show off his athleticism, but to prove he has what it takes to compete with top tier talent. Meanwhile, yeah. Cody has said on this Sometimes you know you need to get away from that silly uh, antics that she does, uh, you know, that he does. I said she. With his he does. Having you know, his dedication challenge, Cody got a little overzealous at times during this match and had to be. For some reason, Cody is acting like a heel. However, Sonny Kiss rose to the occasion, not only like, hitting a the way he was splash, wrestling. It's like not even Cody esque. You know what I mean? The champion managed to survive all of that and come back with the vicious rear breaker, but it still wasn't enough to put away his opponent. Cody took his frustration out not only on referee Aubrey Edwards, but also a turnbuckle, a move that almost you know, cost him his title. You don't do that. For the champ, you don't do that with. Uh, air by Sonny, you don't do that with uh, Aubrey. One tough, one tough uh, ref, one tough Jake, really. Yeah. Whoa, 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 where did this come from? You know, it's like, why did he do that? It's not Cody's thing. Are these guys not sure of, of their of their characters and their uh, status as either a heel or a babyface? Didn't even hit it. You can, you can see. Cameraman, really, that was a bad angle. You should have went to the side and you would have looked like you're, you're right in the line of his, uh, of, uh, you know, his face to the, to the turnbuckle and didn't even hit it. There was a turnbuckle there. It would have been uh, a pad there. It would have been like when someone stops themselves short of getting um, their face planted into the turnbuckle. <laughs> And you see how Cody's head just rocked back after I mean, there's nothing wrong with the antics that uh that Sunny Kiss does. That's Sunny Kiss's character, of course. But man, you don't you don't you don't take a person seriously when that's all they are. Sunny, a swing, Cody. Uh oh. See, that's what I'm talking about again. The way these guys sell his uh thing, because you notice how when they do the crossroads like as a thing, whatever, it isn't it is very they plant. Stiffly, and 
you know, flush. But then when apparently he tells these guys what you do, you gotta oversell it. Sonny Kiss could easily really hurt hurt their back the way contorted the way he landed. I just loved every moment of this match. Did you tell us more? Next week, the open challenge. Stop overacting. You got it. Who will answer the call? Just be natural when you react. Gosh, that's like. Finally, it wouldn't be a top five. Does she have like two cards? This week, Chris Jericho Act, graced over, us over act. To fight for the really show that you everyone yes, here, on the yeah. importance of the 18 to 49 cards, telling her how to, how to and overact. And himself the demo god. He also informed Orange Cassidy, whom he faced at Vitamix. That's funny how they have a, a shirt already. Squeeze, want a rematch. They have a shirt already, a demo god. That I thought I want to get down. one. But... You all voted it your number one moment of the week. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? I'm scared. You think I'm scared? Huh? You think I'm scared of some little dweeb with sunglasses and a denim jacket? The demo god is never scared. And that's why there will never be a rematch between Cassidy and Orange. So, Orange, congratulations, buddy. So, enjoy the fact that you got to stand in the ring with the champion one night. And now you can go back to hugging your best friends and remembering what it was like and to or, be a real main adventure. Here's two Ortiz is such a one for you. over actor. It's much when like when he when he falls career. because of you know because of you know what happens with all the orange juice and shit. Especially squeezed. Orange. Orange coming in. There's the orange. He cleaned his shirt. Sauntering, taking his time. The king of sloth style, freshly squeezed. I love that. King of sloth style. I love that. Uh, thing. But then again, when he does wrestling ring, he's not a sloth. This is is this persona in the state. But when he's in the ring, man, he he, he hits it. <laughs> Doesn't say anything before what happens happens. Classic, classic. Uh, Oh, always OC, always Shut Cassidy. Up. Shut up! Shut up! <laughs> All right, Orange. I get it. You wanna <laughs> Orange? You wanna hear from my mouth face to face? Do so you think that you would actually be calling somebody Orange? <laughs> There'd be someone named Orange. <laughs> what if that's always been his name? I'm gonna tell you what I really think of you now. Like I said, you showed the world that you could really go. You did great, Orange. Yep. But overall, you don't have what it takes to be with Le Champion. You're lazy. Champion. You got a bad attitude. Yeah. You got a bad attitude. <laughs> ah, don't know You're about that. <laughs> You're entitled. So I'll say it one more time, Orange. There will never be a rematch. Will be one uh, after after what happened here. So take those sunglasses, fold them up, and shove them straight up your ass. And then you can get the hell out Look, of See that one girl to his uh, left uh, just not wearing her mask. I said get the hell out of my arena, you piece of shit! Oh my good, come on. I was wondering why you were doing with this. That was a signal. Boom. <laughs> you gonna give us the thumbs down, huh? What are you gonna do, Orange? What are you gonna do, huh? What are you gonna do? You got nothing. <laughs> <laughs> hey, look at look at Ortiz. Oh overacting look at ass. See, look at it. Look at it. Juice. I'm assuming there's oranges everywhere. The inner circle of champions. Look at that. It's like he's trying to act like he can't get up. Like Jericho has been. Absolutely humiliated. Oh, I think um, it was uh, Jake Dick Hager. He's like, he's like, get up, you know, and not, and not saying get up like, encourage him to get up. He's pretty much saying, stop looking like a fool and get up. Then when the rest of the stuff fell down and showed it, that made sense when he fell. Those guys were on their feet. They didn't fall. Why did he fall? Oof, that's gonna stain. Oh my god. And Santana, I would have totally had that exact same reaction. But that's why they say you should never drink orange juice right after you brush your teeth. 
<laughs> there you have it, guys. Your top five moments from all. What does that mean? Fight for the fallen. If your moments didn't make the list, don't sweat it. Don't, don't give up your day it. job. Don't forget, you can always submit your votes using the hashtag. Maybe, maybe her day job is uh, being a comic. AE Wrestling. Our social maybe just don't try comedy. You're a stand-up comic, and yet she's not funny. The weekend. Be sure and tune in next Wednesday night for another banger of an AEW Dynamite episode where the Inner Circle will take on Jurassic Express and MJF returns to in-ring action. Mm -hmm. All that and more coming at you next Wednesday night on AEW Dynamite only on TNT. All right, three things that I take away from Fight for the Fallen, which was a decent pay-per-view. Oh, no, pay-per-view. Decent show. Number one, was anybody surprised that Vicky Guerrero was the manager? And what was up with Dan Decker saying that weeks she's been talking about a manager? She only mentioned that she had a manager last week and then revealed it to be Vicky Guerrero. Well, yeah. And at least Vicky Guerrero, when she came out, she wasn't annoying. She did the excuse me instead of, are you kidding me? Because are you kidding me doesn't make sense. Sure, walking out, are you kidding me? Didn't make sense. The excuse me, I guess WWE doesn't have the, uh, you know, the, what do you call it? They don't have that, uh, you know, that, that saying of hers, you know, copyrighted to them. So she could use it. Maybe she has that much of a good relationship with them still that they're saying, okay, you can use it. You know, you know what WWE is they did grab, they jump on anything, man, the, the, to uh, the patent and trademark for them. You know, Dudley Boys can't even use Dudley Boys outside of WWE, and they brought it into WWE from WC ECW, so that's where. But um, that's that. <clears throat> then the uh, whole. And with Brian Cage and John Moxley, now that wasn't even one of the top five moments. Like, somebody, well, come on, guys. You know, those of you who voted and for your moments, Moxley, man, proved that he could chain wrestle, that he could, you know, go move for move. Uh, you know, I mean, he was training MMA be, uh, before his match with Jake Hager. So I don't know if that's where that comes from. Or maybe he was always a, a, a good wrestler like that, a good mat wrestler like that. But that was a pretty good match. It was, uh, you know, the way it ended. Uh, Taz throwing in the towel because pretty much uh, Brian Fury was going to tap out. It looked like he was tapping out. So, who knows what's going to happen there? Are they still going to be a, 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 you know, a force, a, a duo? Not Brian Cage, I'd be pissed. You know, like, dude, let me... uh. Tap out. If I'm gonna tap out. Let me tap out. You know, on my own. Don't don't bail me out. I mean, Brian Cage ain't that kind of a person. He's gonna let somebody bail him out like that. Throw a towel in. And the whole thing of totally man. I tell you, it totally reminds me of that song by uh, when I sings uh, "Waiting for a Star to Fall." That song. What is up with these guys in AEW? You don't know how to time their uh, certain uh, segments, or I mean, not segments, but certain uh, things that they do in the ring when it comes to like the whole thing of someone, you know, doing a suicide dive, hope a suicide, whatever you call it, and they're there to catch the person. I mean, that's a safety thing. They do that in order to make sure that the ref, the wrestler, you know, is safe. But can't they do something in the meantime? Instead of just looking up and waiting. Because who does that? Who does that in, to anticipate being, you know, who, who what stands there and lets something happen to them? They're going to be like this. They're going to be like that. How about those guys look down or, or groggy or something like that? I mean, you had two members of either team. There's three three on three. You know, the Elite versus the, uh, the Jurassic Express. Yeah, two members of Jurassic Express. Two members of, I believe, I believe it was... Uh, I think it was Kenny and um, either Nick or Jax, Nick or Mike, the Matt, I should say. And they're like this, arms or, or arms or around each other, looking up as one of the young bucks does a, you know, flip over the top rope. Like, honestly, you're sitting there waiting for somebody. You know, make it realistic. You know, like you guys are, you, know, you should be like this. You know, and why? Who says that everybody has to watch the guy when he flips over? How about one of them do it? You know, or 
or they're like this and fighting, you know, like this, and then then they time it to where when they look up, down comes water. You can't react when it's like a second before the person falls on you, right? But not like 15 seconds of like this. Some of them have their arms up like this, ready to brace. And there was one time where in the ring, Matt Jackson again, that's that's pretty guilty of by association, I guess. I don't know. But uh he was waiting there and Jurassic Express had one of those setup moves. And he's sitting there looking at him. You know, like you didn't have time to put your arms up. That's the thing that they really lack is that that timing and that, you know, I don't know what it is again. And I'm not the only one to brings it up is that they're because they're indie guys. They rarely are on television before AEW or anything. They're not used to it. So they, they don't have to worry about people seeing them set up stuff. You got to get on the ball, man, and, and understand that you got to make it less uh, conspicuous. You know, you have to do it to where it makes sense. You know, I'm not a pro wrestler. I'm not an expert, but I've watched wrestling all this, these years. WWE, to, to their credit, doesn't do it as badly as uh, AEW seems to. If they do that thing where they dive in the thing, they're looking, but it's like it's t- time to where it's, it just happens that as they look up. You know, there are a few idiots that will be looking up and waiting for the guy, but God, it's not as bad as AEW. You know? But anyway, that's my, uh, you know, my video and my thoughts on Fight for the Fallen and my reaction to the top five AEW moments. Uh, yeah, it was pretty decent, the, the choices, but I'm surprised it didn't have the, the main match, which is a title match. The Brian Cage versus uh, John Mosley for the title. Or, uh, AW world title but uh, anyway that's my video and for those of you who stopped by check it out i appreciate it and appreciate your support and closing in as always take care please remember to subscribe click like and click the bell icon for all the notifications on this channel